welcome along welcome along to the face off series this is a brand new series where i focus my attentions on particular units today i'm really talking about the men at arms stroke knights i'm just using the defensive spear and other infantry and bowmen to compare them against these knights men at arms are, are fantastic additions to the game they've really changed the way in which we play they look wonderful and also there has been some changes so in one of the latest patches 10th of february they were improved a little bit because a lot of players and obviously the developer agreed felt that these units were a little bit un underpowered so now infantry on impact they've got that minus two on the cohesion test modifier before it was only minus one but now that means the infantry is just a little bit more likely to disrupt against knights on impact also the ap early versions of the knights uh they only had 12 ap now that's 14 still not the greatest um and the early knights the pre 1040 ad units they have 16 ap so they're more maneuverable than these kind of knights the stats let's have a look let's have a look so on impact knights men at arms are 100 up against defensive spearmen and they are also 100 up against dismounted men at arms which is very interesting these units are often used as a kind of counter for knights but you've got to bear in mind you are 100 down on impact that's a fair chance to disrupt okay superior quality against average quality but 100 down that is significant units like baltic foot billman they are 150 down on impact and it's really only the large spear units i've got the low country spear standard unit and the low country spear with the heavy weapon they are only 50 down on impact veteran spear as well are only 50 down on impact so in a battle you really want to put your large spear and veteran spear up against knights if you can um, they are going to hold uh, far better than the other infantry units but overall i would say you know often we're looking for a weak spot um weak unit uh, on the enemy line to focus on but with a unit like the knights men arms practically all infantry are going to be at a disadvantage against you so you know any of these units you would probably do well against uh and it's only the large spear units you probably want to avoid everything else is fair game and you've got a good chance of getting your disruptions bowmen so this is probably one of the main weaknesses of the men at arms knights in my tests a range of two just two bowmen units firing upon one unit of knights men at arms i was getting disruptions most of the time it worked out about 66 percent of the time i was getting a disruption from just the second unit firing on the knights men at arms which is quite surprising but they are very very vulnerable to missile fire and there was no real difference between crossbowmen and longbowmen casualties were about the same casualties if you want to know from face on uh from two squares it was about 26 for both longbowmen and crossbowmen and on the half arc where the unit just has to turn slightly to fire it was about 16 but as the developer has mentioned and i've mentioned a few times in my videos this game is not really set up for casualties as much as cohesion checks uh this is how you win so that second unit firing upon the men arms they were often getting a disruption so you really want to get your bowmen fairly close to knights men arms if you can so some tips advice what would i say so firstly uh make some space now these knights are all about impact 
they charge in if they don't disrupt they bounce back you really want to make sure as much as possible to, that you've got space for them to fall back in the middle of the battle it might become difficult uh, i would recommend an epic battle uh the battle of core you've got loads of knights and arms to use and then you can really work out how you are going to use them because it's hard when you know the battle gets going and you've got units in front of you and you're trying to move around and it, you know you've often got units behind you and you realize uh how knights really suffer in tight spots that's when infantry can come around flank rear charge double up so as far as possible you want to make space get that bounce um, and then you can get your your impact off i would also say um stay in the center if possible okay every battle is different every map is different but on the whole you're not going to have 10 11 knights you're going to have about three or four they cost a lot 74 for the knights 81 for men at arms you don't really want them on the flanks chasing like cav cav that probably only cost 45 50 a lot less anyway than 81 or 74 so you want them in the middle of uh the battle ideally then you can go left or right if you've got knights on the right you're not going to be able to use them on the left that easily so somewhere in the center You've got more options on using them uh, and especially so if you haven't got so many i would also say similar to what i said about impact foot it can be good to use them together because if you charge two three four units of knights in on some infantry it's highly likely that at least one of those units if, if not two of the units are going to disrupt then you're going to get your fragmentation then you're going to punch a big hole in the enemy line another thing i'd say is often what i try to do anyway is if i have a unit of knights charging in and i get a disruption i try if possible to have a second unit of knights ready to charge in as well that's what you really want when you can charge that second unit of knights into a disrupted unit that is exactly what you want and how you should use these units because that is going to mean that the chances are you're going to fragment that unit and route it sooner than later so keeping them fairly close to each other using them in conjunction with each other can be really useful obviously sometimes in battles you might not be able to do that you not, might have some reserves somewhere or the you need a few knights somewhere else on the battlefield but overall i think they can be used really effectively together be flexible be flexible what do i mean well every battle is different every map is different if you take uh i was looking at uh, an army like the crusader 1155 ad list that has a maximum of 11 knights and it has a maximum of 15 bowmen now if i take out in, in that list if i take seven eight units of knights it just means i've got less infantry less bowmen but there are times especially against those eastern armies Ghaznavid, arabic armies uh you just might need to use your bowmen against the eastern armies with all their cavalry horse archers it's going to be all about bowmen and defending really knights when they're surrounded by horse archers archers in general they are going to suffer so don't always think that just because these knights are so strong uh, and powerful that every battle is going to they're going to be effective it's just not the case try to use them on open terrain as much as possible so thanks a lot for watching thanks also um to bunny i had a few discussions with bunny and uh, he's always very helpful um on all the stats and poa um so thank thanks a lot to him if you've got any comments please leave them below if i've missed anything out um which i might have done uh, then 
make your comments below if you like the video like it and subscribe um if also if you've got any requests we had a request um the other day um to focus on impact foot so if you want me to focus on any particular unit uh then just let me know and i will try and look at it in the coming weeks okay see you again soon